welcome to the adventure capital of the world, Queenstown, New Zealand. We have three days and four nights here in Queenstown, the adventure capital of the world. But we are on a bit of a budget. We are here with my parents, so we are four people and we have $700. In this video, we're gonna see if we can also do cool things like other people, but first we need to do a bit of girl math here. Our accommodation has been booked months ago, so I mean, it's free now. We also booked Milford Sound a few months ago, so that is also free. <laughs> I hope you like my girl math. That leaves us with two full days and $700 so let's see what we can do here in Queenstown. Oh, yes, Okay, start the video. We have just arrived in Queenstown and this is our amazing Airbnb. We overlook a river. I can see the blue through the window. This place looks amazing. Dining room, desk, kitchen. Let's check it out. We're going down another level. It's a bedroom, more stairs, and another bedroom. We booked an Airbnb about five kilometers out of Queenstown. Which means we had to drive into town and pay for parking. Just a little tip, get the app called Parkmate, where you can get discounted rates and you can start and stop your parking without booking beforehand. It yeah. makes it very convenient as well. You don't have to stress and run back to the car and update your parking. We are busy walking through the streets and finally we're at the waterfront. We are walking the waterfront, which is something free you can do here in Queenstown and it's actually beautiful. The restaurants, you're seeing the jet boats going out, there's, there's floating bars, there's all different activities that you can do if you're coming on holiday. It's, it's a vibe, cool. there's so many people and there's these little food trucks on the waterfront. to get some coffee somewhere and we really wanted to sit on the water so we came to pier and we got some large flat rocks we are on our way to ferg burger the line looks really long the famous ferg burger <laughs> and yep. it's just weird because we always thought it was like in the street on the waterfront but it's in the middle of town so it's just always interesting to actually go to the places that you see on videos different <laughs> i'm excited the line is long <laughs> The wait time is about 10 to 15 minutes. I must say that the prices are pretty good because under $20 a burger, in Auckland we would pay over $20 a burger anyway. And this is big, full of stuff, which I'm pretty excited for. Got our food burgers, let's go eat them. We brought our own cool drinks from where we went to the shop yesterday. And now we're gonna find a spot on the water to eat these monster gigantic burgers. <laughs> They're massive. This bag feels like it's a few kgs. It's only three burgers. <laughs> this is quite heavy, I must say. I miss fair burger. Looks like a fish. <laughs> Oh, 
first few bites of my Ferg burger, it's really good. We went for the deluxe, it's got everything on it. Better than good. <laughs> <laughs> Better than a superb burger. Oh, lovely. We have finished our Ferg burgers. They were really, really good. I'm stuffed though. <laughs> They're really big. The nice thing about these burgers is they don't get soggy because yeah. you take so long to eat them. The bottom half of the bun is it's toasted a bit. It, yeah, yeah, it's toasted, so it didn't get soggy at all, which yeah. I hate with burgers. Yeah. If you come here, definitely get one. It's worth the price in the first place. It's a yeah. good price, and it's a good size. We didn't even get chips and stuff. Yeah. What a beautiful place to just have lunch and. Just chill out. We actually sat under this tree behind me. Thank you. If it wasn't my birthday week, I wouldn't have gotten this, but it's a chero with caramel sauce, so I had to. It was $10 though. We decided to plan ahead and we booked our gondola tickets with five luge rides. It came to $77 each. We booked it here at Southern Discoveries. Our Wilford Sound Cruise is also with them. Here's our tickets and they'll send us an e-ticket as well. So excited for that. Even my mom is going to do the luge. <laughs> Parking came to $20 because we were just over three hours, so it charges for another hour. We drove out of Queenstown, we on the Glenorchy Road, but we're gonna stop at Bob's Cove because I saw it on TikTok. <laughs> We have found a beach about 15 kilometers outside Queenstown called Bob's Cove and we're going to have a quick swim. This is beautiful. So the walk takes you all the way to the jetty on that side but there's little beaches the whole way and people have set up with their kayaks and little camps. It's quite nice. Chantal is going to take a dip. Last day before my big birthday, we shall only tell you what the age is tomorrow. I might. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Three. Oh, you're both going. Two. One. <gasps> <laughs> I'm swimming in the blue waters I've ever seen. In with, Queenstown. You don't come to Queenstown to swim. But look at that backdrop. <laughs> Behind you, mountains. <laughs> I saw Bob Cove on TikTok and now I can say that I swam in it. I'm absolutely freezing, but I did it. I did it and it's free. <laughs> nice little hike down to the beach, trees overhanging, so lots of shade, which is nice. Very cool. I mean, this is a summer holiday after all, and we needed to spend some time at the beach, if you can call it that. <laughs> <laughs> in the water. On our way back to Queenstown, we saw a place called Wilson Bay Reserve and we stopped there. Probably a better place to swim. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Very stony beach as well, but easy to get into the water. I can imagine in good weather, just supping here. Oh, and beautiful, the beautiful views of Backdrops, wow. We headed back to our Airbnb to celebrate my birthday eve. We went via the shop and let me just tell you, our total grocery bill for the four days in Queenstown came to $380. We bought things for breakfast, lunches, and most of our dinners, as well as some snacks, drinks, and of course, birthday cake. Craig also sneakily brought some candles, balloons and champagne. We had a yum bra on our balcony and then I opened my presents. I especially loved the Elisa perfume for my parents and Craig surprised me with something that will be revealed within the next couple of months. The next day we headed out on a 12 hour day trip to Milford Sound. These are only a handful of highlights as our next video will be a vlog of our full experience. Let's just say that this was the best birthday ever. This is the best birthday ever so far. Cars of 
for 10 people but you can just get on your own gondola nobody is checking how many people is getting on they're very frequent so you don't wait long and there's special gondolas for people with bikes this is new zealand's highest ticketed tourist attraction with 900,000 tourists every year Definitely the best gondola cable car I've ever been on. Got our helmets and now we're in a really long line to go up another gondola to the top. Are you ready for the Yes, we are. Extreme adventure. Three. Woo! <laughs> 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 we did it! <laughs> Why are we going? <laughs> No man passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up. So Who's going first? Popular one, though, actually. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Are you going first? I'll have to show her what I'm Yeah. When you're ready, we're going to pull back as hard as we can. Okay. All the way back, all the way. Oh, okay. How was your leash? So cool and we have four rides left. Definitely recommend for young and old. How was your F1 racing then? Oh, it's fantastic. I think Formula I came one. first. Formula One driver. It is such a vibe. It's like a party on the mountain. The music's good. No wind, sunny. <laughs> Top of school in the afternoon and we're about to do our last luge ride. This has been a lot more fun than we thought it would be. Definitely come and check it out if you're in Queenstown and the weather is just beautiful. It's actually summer today. It is so good. The views are incredible. <laughs> our $700 budget pretty quickly. So can Queenstown still be done on a budget? I definitely think so. There are lots of nature activities in the area which are free like hikes and you can explore the lakes and you can drive to some of the little towns in the area but then you will be missing out on some pretty cool activities. A way to get around it is to do a bit of girl math like we did and book your activities in advance if you can. We booked the Milford Sound day trip about five months in advance and our Airbnb also 
four or five months in advance and it really helped that by the time it got to our holiday that those things were taken care of. We really enjoyed sitting on our balcony in the Airbnb and have a bra in the afternoons overlooking the river and the beautiful sunset. So the main event of our Queenstown trip was Milford Sound and that was a 12 hour day trip. So that was quite tiring and we're glad we actually didn't squeeze in more things in Queenstown and we could actually just enjoy the town itself. So we'll definitely have to go back to Queenstown to do like the jet boats and the old steamboats, not the bungee and all of the other things. We also didn't go to an ice bar so lots to do when we go back one day but for now this is the end of the video thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one which will be Milford Sound bye okay wait wait but when that full thing's gone we're gonna go for oh, yeah. okay go but we and saw sorry okay. what did you order um, I'm crying <laughs> 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 We just left. Welcome to the National Park, everybody. This is us for the rest of the journey. The Mirror Lakes isn't mirroring today.